Hello everyone, and uh, I'm Justin, and I am uh, all of Jay's Animation Studio. Um, Jay being the uh, first initial of my name, um, first letter of my name. But um, right now, if you're watching this tutorial, you probably already saw my Sphere intro. And uh, right now, I'm going to show you how to change the text, the color of the objects, and the sound of the intro. Um, by the way, if you are going to want to edit these, uh, which I'm sure you would, you would want to download Blender. It's a free program, um, and it's completely 100% safe. And uh, you're going to need the uh, download file, which I put in the description, which is right here you'll see that on uh, the description and I also put the sound in there if you want the sound which is right there and that will be in the description as well but right now I'm gonna show you how to change everything first off I'm gonna start off with the text in the corner over here and uh, basically you right click the text and then you're gonna want to go down here where it says object mode and click edit now uh, just keep your mouse on the screen or else it won't type and uh, you just type like you normally would so I'm gonna put in my friends YouTube uh, account name alright and then after you're done you just go back to object mode and it'll keep it that way uh, next up I'm gonna show you how to sh change the color uh, with so with uh, the text still selected, you can go over here, and you'll have a bunch of buttons over here. And uh, the one you want to click on is this circle one that says uh, material, right there. And uh, you just click on the diffuse part, come up with the uh, color wheel, and you can change the uh, brightness and whatnot. That's where you get the different colors. Uh, so I'm just going to change it to red and uh, yeah as you can see it pops up on the ball so you can see what uh, what color or what shade you're looking at right then so I'm going to keep it like that I'll show you what the specular does in a minute here uh, now we're going to change the color of the sphere now just right click the sphere and just keep it on that and it will pop up with the color again. Now you'll notice that the specular is now yellow. I changed that from white uh, to yellow because what it does is you get this tint um, that sort of gives it its own color and you can kind of see it right here that's that's a yellow color but um, you can see I could tell by this square where the light is shining on the ball. So right here you can see that it's sort of a yellow tint, kind of purple almost in a way. And uh, if you click on this it'll just pop up with another color wheel. I like to use a bright color for this because it, uh, it works really well. So I'm going to move it over to turquoise. And notice the difference in the uh, shade of colors and you can tell on here that it kinda got a little bit uh, bluer and then the diffuse changes the whole color of the object so I'm gonna change that to a dark blue and then you get this effect now you can really tell that um, it's a uh, turquoise but uh, that's how you change the text and the color now after you're done you're gonna wanna save this and what you're gonna do or you're gonna want to make it in animation so what you're gonna want to do is you want you're gonna want to click this uh, camera and it stands for render and then you're gonna go down and it says output and you select an output file now before you do that you want to convert it to a AVI raw this will allow you to uh, change the sound after you save the uh, file so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here and you're gonna click on this right here and uh, it'll bring up this screen 
Now don't worry about all these PNGs. It doesn't matter. These are just uh, save files and um, whatnot. Whatever you've uh, saved. Um, basically, you can uh, just you can click on your drive. Um, you can click on Documents uh, Desktop. Um, I'm gonna use uh, my Blender folder. And uh, now, say I keep it like this, and I accept. When I go down here, it's gonna be blank. What you want to do is before you accept it, you want to give the file a name. So you're gonna put in, uh, or most likely you're gonna put in Sphere Intro, and I'm gonna put two so that it doesn't overwrite my previous file. And you say accept. Now you can see that it's a Sphere Intro two. Um, after you do that, you have your file selected. You can just go ahead and click this button right here where it says animation and it has the little movie clip now uh, this this will take a few minutes because it renders each one frame by frame now the reason blender is a really good program to use for animations is because you don't have to give it its custom path it um it will actually guess which path it's gonna take and it's a good thing I left this sphere clicked because you can see down here you can uh, do frame by frame and you can see right here it's going frame by frame here putting it together um, so yeah basically what you want to do is uh, if you're gonna make your own animations and you want this sort of loop shape you just do more than one point uh, so you can just lock on the point and it'll bring it around and uh... i'll be making more tutorials in blender this is just for the intro so uh... we'll just wait for this to render for one minute and uh... check out my friend's channel he's got about uh... ninety something subscribers uh... he makes intros too he's really good at it and uh... you should sh check out his channel after you're done watching this video now what you're gonna see here is that the Sony Vegas Madness is gonna go off the screen a little bit if your title is as long as his and it goes off the screen a little bit just don't worry all you have to do is um, you can either shrink it you can either shrink it or you can move it over to the left a little bit and uh, I'll show you how to do that after I show you how to change the sound real quick so after you've done that you can just close blender and uh, it should be yes sphere intro dot avi now you can just rename this to sphere intro and then what you want to do is you want to open with windows live movie maker now this is on uh, windows computers I do not know what Mac uses as a video editing tool or if they even have one but uh, I have a Windows so I'm going to be showing you the Windows way to edit this now uh, basically what you want to do is you can just leave it the same play the animation um, and you can add music uh, so you just click add music and what I put in was the sound effects because currently I do not know how to actually get the sound um, out of a folder and into Blender so I just use this which um, is the animation and uh, you can just it'll play the sound of the ball actually moving with it um, there's a little click at the beginning uh, and what you can do to cut out that sound is I found that uh, 60 66 or uh, 60 works the best and then you just right click and split it in half and then you right click the smaller half and say remove and then that removes the little click sound at the beginning of the intro and then you have this nice smooth intro and then that's how you get this um, and then you can just what you can do is you want to do a save movie recommended for this project 
pop up and uh, just name it Sphere Intro. And the reason you want to do Save Movie Recommended is because that um, that allows you to upload it to YouTube because the other ones don't work as well. Uh, then you just save that to your designated folder. It goes real quick. You just should say it's done. Close out. Say no. And here you are. And uh, yes, I can hear the sound playing if you uh, just want to be reassured. And then you can still have the raw file uh, edit it any way you like. This is without sound. And um, so that's that. Oh, yes. And uh, real quick on Blender here. Let me open it back up. About the text. If your text is too big. So uh, let's just put his name back in again real quick. Sony. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Biggest madness. And uh, now if I uh, click this, it'll play the animation. Oh, hold on. Oh, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I must have clicked on something. Alright, well, now we'll play the animation. And uh, you can see that it goes off the camera a little bit. And I'm at the end of 60. So if you click inside of this white circle on a space... Oh, well, first you have to have the letter selected. And uh, if you just click inside this white circle space, you can move it back a little bit. And then you have the full name in there. If yours is just a little bit longer than that. Uh, obviously, after you after you move it back, you're going to need to move it back. Then you're going to press I on your keyboard. And uh, you want to go down to Lock Rotation Scale. And it should fit. Yep, there you go. And uh, that is the end of this tutorial. Please check out my other videos. Subscribe, like, and comment. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Thank you and goodbye.